Okay, so this is my video review of the Andoa 3.5 meter lightweight microphone boom. This is the aluminium version. They also do a carbon fiber version. Just to point out that I've not been paid by Andoa or Amazon to make this review. It's something that I've bought because I needed to replace my boom and this review is completely impartial. Okay, so let's have a look at the product. So it comes in this convenient carry bag, um, which is ideal if you're not gonna use it a lot, it has a carry handle. At its shortest length, it's just over a meter, 107 centimeters to be precise. It's divided into four locking sections, which are just simple twist locks. Its total weight is 668 grams. It has kind of a load capacity of three kilograms, so it should take any kind of standard boom and quite a few different accessories as long as it doesn't go over three kilograms. Its longest extended length is 3.5 meters or 350 centimeters. The diameter of the tube itself is 28 mil, and as you can see, it has a cable run down the middle of it. You can unscrew the top of the boom and unscrew the bottom of the boom and run a cable lead through. Now this is fine if you're using like a mini jack. It does actually take the width of an XLR cable, but unfortunately, obviously it's not wide enough as a diameter to take the whole XLR jack. So if you do want to run an XLR lead down the middle of this boom, you are gonna have to either use adapters or you're gonna have to uh, run the cable in and then re sort of terminate the, the XLR um, connector at either end. One of the things I like about this is that there's a screw thread in the bottom of the boom pole, which means that you can then attach that boom pole if you need it to a magic arm or even to a tripod to extend its height. So I can see that I might attach a radio mic receiver to the top of this boom, attach it via the screw thread to a lighting stand, and then I can actually extend its reach and get it really high. So obviously if the screw thread on the end of this is too big for your particular boom, you can use an adapter like this and I'll put a link in the description below. So here you can see me testing the boom at full length with a standard uh, Sennheiser 416 microphone and plug-in transmitter attached to a Rode pistol grip. Now I've tested this at the 3.5 meters and I've got to say it's very flexible. It doesn't feel particularly secure and I think the word lightweight microphone boom pole in the description does also sum up its use. So I've tested it at kind of two meters and a kind of a, a COVID distance and it's absolutely fine. If you do want to extend it to uh, 3.5 meters, I don't think the aluminium version is heavy duty enough. The carbon fiber version may well work better. My mic rig, if you like, weighs uh, under one kilograms. So they advertise this can take a three kilogram weight limit. I would argue not the aluminium version. So it does have its limitations. Another thing you might like to do with this boom, uh, which I'm sure a lot of camera operators and videographers already know about, but if you use an adapter like this, again, I'll put the link in the description below, you can just attach this to a standard lighting stand, put the boom in at right angles, and then you can obviously use it to boom in over the top of an interview. So all in all, I'm really impressed with this. Um, I paid just about £40 for it. I think it's just gone up slightly to maybe £42 currently, and this review is obviously being recorded in October 2020 but I can't recommend this enough as a lightweight affordable really affordable boom pole please do like and subscribe if you'd like to be informed of more kit review videos that I do in the future and if you'd like to buy this boom or the other two products that I've mentioned in this review please do click on the links in the video description thanks for watching